Hello and welcome to another section of this complete Angular course. In this section, you will learn all about routing in Angular. And let's start by understanding what is routing and how to implement routing in Angular. Routing allows us to navigate from one part of our application to another part. And in terms of Angular, we can say that routing allows us to move from view of one component to the view of another component. Here, I have created a very simple Angular application. Now, in this Angular application, we have these four links. So, what we want is, when a user clicks on this home link, we want to redirect user to the home page. In the same way, when the user clicks on this about link, we want to redirect user to the about page. And when the user clicks on this contact link, we want to redirect him to the contact page. And in the same way, if the user clicks on this courses link, we want to redirect user to the courses page. Now, if I open VS Code, here I have created a brand new Angular project called Angular Routing. And when we run this project in the browser, it will look something like this. Okay. So in this project, I have created four components, the about component, contact component, courses component, and home component. And I'm using the selector of each of these components in the app component. Okay, so here I have created this div and inside this div, we are using the selector for home component, about component, contact component and courses component. And that's why in the web page, you will see that the view of each of those components are being displayed here in this web page. Okay. And in this app component, I have also defined a navigation bar. So here using this div, we are creating a navigation bar and inside this navigation bar, we have defined four links, a link for home page, a link for about page, a link for contact and a link for courses. Okay. And that's what you will see in the web page. Now, instead of displaying the view of each of these components in the same page, we want to display only that view for which the user has clicked the link. So for example, if the user has clicked this contact link, in that case, we only want to display the view of that contact page. Okay, so this view. For that, we can use routing. So let's see how to implement routing in Angular. Let's go to VS Code. Now we can create routes in a separate TypeScript file or inside app modules. And I'm going to create routes for this Angular application inside the app modules file. So here, let's open this app modules.ts file. And before this ng module, let's create a constant using this const keyword and let's call it app route. And you can name this variable anything, but the type of this variable should be routes. Okay. It should be routes and not route. And in order to use this routes, we also need to import it from angular slash router. Now, let me move this import statement at the top. So I'll cut it from here and I'll use it here. Now, if I hover over this routes, you will notice that this routes is an array of route objects. Okay. So to this, we can assign an array and inside this array, we specify the route objects for that we use this object literal syntax and inside this object literal syntax, we specify the path property, which is of type string. And we also specify the component property. And to this component property, we can assign a component class, for example, home component, about component, etc. Okay. So what we want is when a user types root URL slash home in the address bar, in that case, we want to render the view template of home component. So to the path, we have assigned this path home. And when this path is typed in the URL, we want to render the view template of home component. So to this component property, we can assign home component class. And in this way, we have created one route. In the same way, if a user types root URL slash about in the address bar, so here the path will be about in that case, I want to render the view of about component. 
so to this component property we can assign this about component class okay in the same way let's also go ahead and create routes for contact and courses so here let's specify the path as contact and when this path is typed in the url we want to display the view of contact component and in the same way let's also specify a path of courses and when this path is typed in the url we want to display the view of courses component okay so in this way we have defined four routes but our angular application does not know about these routes yet so to make this application know about these routes we need to register this app route and to do that in this import array we need to add router module so let's do that so router module and in order to use this router module we also need to import it from angular slash router now on this router module we can call a method called for root and to this for root method we can pass our route so we are storing our route inside this app route constant let's pass this to this for root method and with this this angular application knows about these routes finally we need to tell angular where to display the view when one of these paths are typed in the url so in this case we want to display the view inside this div which we have created inside the app component.html so from here let me comment these selectors okay and here we can use a directive which is router hyphen outlet so this router outlet is a directive that tells angular where in our page we want to display the view and we do not have to import this directive that's because this directive is imported when we imported the router module in our app modules file so when we imported this router module here with this this directive also get imported okay and with this the routes should be working now so let's save the changes let's go to the web page and so you can see for the root url no content is being displayed okay now let's type root url slash home press enter and it is displaying the view of home component now let's type root url slash about and now it is displaying the view of about component so in the route you can see that when in the url the user types this path home then it will display the view template of home component in the same way when the user types this path in the url so root url slash about it will display the view of about component and that's what you're seeing in the web page in the same way if i type the path as root url slash contact and press enter it will display the view of contact component and finally let's also type the path for courses okay so when i press enter now it is displaying the view of courses component so our routes are working as expected but here we have one bug so the bug is if i remove these paths from here and if i only type the root url and press enter in that case it is only displaying the navigation bar so it is only displaying this navigation bar and it is not displaying any other content that's because for this url this localhost colon 4200 we have not defined any route inside this routes array so let's define a route for the root url so again let's use this object literal syntax and for the root url the path will be empty string okay and let's say when the user types the root url in the url bar in the address bar we want to display the view of home component so to this component we can assign this home component class okay with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page and now when i type the root url and press enter 
the view of home component is being displayed okay so it is working as expected so this is one way of defining a route for the root url and this route the route which we define for the root url is called as default route so this is one way of defining a default route another way is so let me comment this line and let's again use an object literal syntax here so another way is we can specify the path as empty string for the root url then we can use another property which is redirect to and to this we can specify the path to which we want to redirect the user when the user enters the root url so here when the user enters the root url we want to redirect him to the home page so to this redirect to we can specify this path this home so let's specify that okay and finally we also need to specify a property called path match and we need to set it to full and this should be path match this path match property simply tells you know simply tells the router how to match the url and when it is set to full the path is matched to the entire url with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page again and still when i enter this root url and when i press enter you will notice that we are redirected to root url slash home okay and it is displaying the view of home page okay so even if i enter root url here and press enter it will redirect us to root url slash home but if we use this approach so if i comment this and uncomment this route if i save the changes in that case there will there will be no redirection okay so if i type root url and press enter we are still in that url and it is displaying the view of home component so that's the difference here in this case there will be no redirection happening but if we use this approach in that case we will be redirected to home page okay so if i again type the root url here and press enter we will be redirected to home page so here redirection is happening all right now what if i type a url for which we have not specified any route for example if i type local this root url slash home slash let's say maybe login and when i press enter you will notice that we are seeing this navigation bar but there is no content shown here and if i open developer console you will see that here we have an error and the error says cannot match any routes home slash login because we have not defined any route with this path home slash login and that's why we have this error so what we want is when a user types a url for which we have not defined any route we want to display the 404 error message okay so let's implement that route in our next lecture